Oh, hello, and welcome to day three of uh, our trip. Just thought I'd climb up to the water tower, um, just because it's, well, it's a nice view actually, and let's have a quick look at it. Pawson's getting up, see? Breakfast is being made, hot water prepared. Um, so, I'm sort of getting up, it's, it's nice, and then there's that cockerel over there, which uh, doesn't know what time of day it is, and starts at four. <laughs> um, Anyway, today's plan is we have our visitors from Gatsby, Africa coming to, to see us. Um, they work across East Africa uh, in different sectors, but one of the areas they're interested in is aquaculture. So I think they're quite interested in the model that we've developed, this idea that you have a, a hub farm which produces um, you know, a commercial farm, but then it also provides services, inputs to other farms and allows them to succeed. So that, you know, that hits their sort of target of helping aquaculture develop across East Africa in a commercial way, um, but it's targeting smallholders who are notoriously difficult to target because, you know, what we'll see today when we go and visit some of the farms, they're a bit smaller in nature. And then, you know, you, you can't support every individual farm. Yeah, it's just too, too tricky. So this sort of agglomeration, uh, not the right word, of um, farms, is uh, I think is interesting to them. So we hope they have a, a good time today, and um, we've got a, a busy schedule. Um, but I'll take you through uh, as we go about. And I think they'll we'll, we'll visit a few farms. We'll show them around. We'll go to the market. Um, yeah, and I think that that will be the day basically. And so that gives them an idea of what we're trying to do. Um, yeah, and I think you'll enjoy it as well because I don't. I don't know if we always go through every single thing that we do and the whole point of this model in detail. We tend to do short videos one at a time, so this will give you an overview of everything that we're up to. I'm just gonna climb down now. I'll put this away, so uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I need a coffee, so I'm not quite awake yet. And uh, nobody wants to see me falling off camera. Well, maybe you do, actually. I mean, I, I think I've probably watched that. I do like a little bit of slapstick. Um, so there you go, perfectly safe. No problems at all. Got to laugh at something else now. So some of you will recognise Deo's farm. Um, last time I came here, I was with Anton from Think Aqua, and uh, we walked down because it's only it's like a five ten minute walk. Um, so I thought I'd bring our visitors. You can see in the background Samuel and Rachel from Gatsby, Gatsby Africa. Um, they've come. So just to, so they get a flavour, I guess, of what some of the fish farms in the area are like. So this. Um, it's quite exciting. I can see quite a bit of improvement. We've got fencing up. We've got some nets. We've got some bird scarers with the, the bags, which I like. Um, and then we've got this pond, which is still um, being currently cleared. Um, so yeah, that's uh, exciting. So, you know, we've bought all of Deo's fish. Um, they're just giving them some pellets at the moment. Um, we've He's feeding them with yams as well, but we've bought all of his fish, so that extra injection of cash has allowed him to, you know, expand and to improve um, and change the area. So, in a sense, it's, a, it's quite exciting for me coming again after six months and seeing the improvements, because a lot of that, I think, is just down to the success that there's a ready market, we're going to buy it, there's a bit of capital, and it's really what the hub's designed to do to help people like Deo to improve their livelihoods and to sort of go a bit forward with fish farming. So yeah, it's quite exciting. Um, got yams growing as well. It's looking good. And I was just feeding the, these fish. So these fingerlings came from our farm. And he was saying that this is the third month, but they're looking quite yeah. big. Third month. Third month, yeah. yeah. They're looking good. Yeah. Right, so tour's going well, I think. We've just uh, done our visit today. We just had a cup of uh, tea, some breakfast, and some chapatis. I'm just going to show uh, the ice machine, which I'm so pleased we got down. She was here yesterday to help us with this, make sure it's up and running. Um, and then, um, we'll, we've got a busy day, so after this, we'll send the BSF. Uh, and then I think we're going to another farm, actually, a bit slightly bigger person. We've uh, just had a quick tour of the BSF down there, and I forgot to take any footage. Um, 
but yeah, I, it was good to show um, Samuel and Rachel the BSF. I think they're quite, find it quite fascinating because this is very different from anything they've probably seen because most BSF is produced sort of in a more commercial setting, um, sort of, you know, trek. I'm not showing you everything. Uh, not that you necessarily want to see my uh, ugly face, but uh, they would produce them in sort of trays in a more controlled environment, let's say. Whereas, I mean, that works for large scale. We've got volumes of production, um, you know, but we don't need that same level. So it's better for us to use a cost-effective solution um, that people can really get as well. It, you know, it has to be simple. Um, so that's what we've done, and that's not standard. And it's not also standard the way you feed them live to your uh, fish. I don't. I think I've seen one or two people try that, um, but never really successfully, to be honest. Um, and that's often because it's trying to be produced commercially and you're trying to target smallholders, so there's a disconnect there. Um, anyway, I'm not trying to brag too much, but <laughs> sorry, it sounds like I am. But I, I guess I'm very proud and very pleased with, uh, with it, so why not? So, yeah, done a tour there. Um, show the ice machine as well, you've seen that already. Um, now we are off to our farm um, to sort of show that level of production and then we'll try and go to visit another farmer, Rich Kiri, who's a bit, we've seen that we've been a couple of times there um, on camera. Um, but he's, uh, he's great because he's another example of a farmer that's um, bigger, than has more resource than Deo. Um, and so that's the, trying to showcase the, the range of farmers that you get um, within, a, within a district. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Got a nice uh, car to go in, so that's good. And looks very, uh, government plate since black, so I've not been on one like that before, so that'd be fun. Sorry, I kind of keep uh, being fairly brief on the footage because, uh, well, you know what I'm like, you can probably imagine I'm doing a lot of talking. <laughs> um, I'm going to hang back a bit because my voice is definitely the best place to, to, to talk. I'm fed up with my own voice, um, but hopefully you're not. So, this is us arriving at the Honourable Chakiri's farm. He has, we've worked with him quite a while, um, he's quite interested in what we're doing and He's an example of some of a farm with a bit more means. So he's not actively managing the farm, but he'll have a farm manager. Well, he has got a farm manager I know quite well, and he manages this. Um, and uh, this is his pond, so he's got quite a few here. And he will use pellets and uh, feed and, you know, do basically you know, has the means to do what we would call best practice fish farming. Um, we've harvested quite a few times actually from him. We've bought all the fish out. Um, he may have been one of the first actually for us to buy fish from. I think not the first, but one of the first definitely. Um, and there, here we are. <laughs> so she's just feeding the, the fingerlings. Which generation is this one, Samiri? Eight. So this is our latest. Mm. So we harvested these yesterday, I think. And what's what's the the average? The average is 0.01. Mm -hmm. 0.01. And how many do you estimate we have? Okay. We just, these are our less, I don't know if you missed all that, but this is our last generation of fingerlings. These are being sold to the district in a couple of months, by a month. So here we are back at the market where we first really tasted success. Um, you can see how busy it is. It's like the Christmas market because the next one will be a month, every month they happen. Uh, and so the next one will likely be much later, well, after Christmas. So you probably can't hear me over the noise. But yeah, we'll go and see where we can find our, our fish farm fish. So, uh, We've reached the market, our good friend Heather, you've seen, here, and uh, we've got the fish, we're almost sold out I think, I think John's got some, got some, there's Humphrey selling, nice smile on his face, and then uh, we've got um, Samuel and Rachel and Paulson, it's very hectic around here, but you can see all the other fish of course being sold, the quality, oh nice, nice Heather, um, yeah good to see you, see you soon. Yeah, nice meeting you. Um, and uh, so yeah, if you look in the background, you see the 
fish that's being sold. It's this, this is really getting away this lady, but it's smoked or dried and it's just not the same quality. We're the only fresh people. And then there is some fish over there as well, which is um, undersized and that would have been wild caught, but probably not um, allowed. Um, and what you're seeing right now is everyone's watching me, classic. Um, yeah. So these are the catfish, I think, and then the small pieces, fish balls, smoked fish, and still. And then we have other fish being sold, kenny, and then the heads of uh, catfish. It's very interesting. Uh, and then, of course, it keeps going. We've got a lot of fish. It does, that's quite a strong smell. Um, Humphrey's done a great job so far. We are remaining with 50 pieces to sell, so we're three quarters there. Um, and John is going around with 35. So yeah, we are we're doing well. Three quarters done, quarter left, and we are our time is still still hours. So um, looks like my rain potentially, but I mean that's really helped. Two days of no rain exactly what we want. Maybe it'll, hopefully it'll rain overnight, get it out of the system, and then tomorrow we've got another market day and we're not having rain. Yeah, it's good. And so they are off. Had a good day. Just a bit of rain on the way back, but nothing too significant. Rain's been really our friend the last couple of days. And uh, there they are, heading off. It's great having them. We enjoyed it, didn't we, Pawson? Oh, it has been very nice. Yeah, it's good. Good day. Very busy. Mm.